YouTube friends, I am back. I haven't done my hair yet, so it's wet, but I did do my makeup and I played with a bunch of the different, um, the different like palettes we've gotten in, in BoxyCharm and actually most of my palettes are from BoxyCharm. So I did a little bit of a, I don't know if you can see here, a little bit of an, an interesting eye, a little bold for me. Um, what do you guys think of that? I, it's bold. It's, um, I don't know. I don't know. It's all right. It's just, I usually wear more muted colors, so. Um, but today, I'm here. I've got a couple of videos to do today. Trend Sun came in. Stitch Fix is scheduled to be here today. And so that one might end up going on, going up tomorrow, depending on when it comes in. But I got two Awakening in a Boxes. And I decided to order from both the two different subscriptions because I was curious, and I've done this two months now, um, I was curious to see the difference between the two boxes and for the price. One price, the Awakening box, is $16 a month. The other price, the Enlightened box, is $39 a month. Uh, there is a difference in size and quality of, you know, or size and products that you get. So here's the $16 a month box, and here is the um, box that's $39 a month. So I'll show you the small box first. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do because this month this is this box is centered on self love. Last month's boxes I think I still have pulled together for you. I was traveling and everything, but last month's box, the thirty nine dollar box, was really pretty awesome, um, and it came with a cute little bag. And I know I still have that box over there, so I'll show you that one. And if I have the smaller one that I didn't pull apart, I'll show you that. And it also came with two really large size. Um, crystals like crystal clusters that I really did like I don't think we got that in this box um, also last month's box was centered on like the chakras they would do like the heart chakra the root chakra all of those and last month's box ended the chakra series and now this series for um, uh, is this April May what are we in this might have been May's box um, this might have been May's box. I think it. I think both of these were May boxes, actually, but I got them kind of at the end of May, and it's centered on self-love. So each box comes with a postcard um, with some very strange artwork, but the artwork, I know people, some of these people like it. It's just not my style. Oh my God, my dog just like, what a breath, just drank all this water and ate all this food and then came over and went all over my pants. Disgusting. Okay, anyway, um, so this, and, and what's nice is it does tell you on the back what's in here, so I'll read this real quick. Oh, it says May. Root Chakra, um, this is a one-time limited edition box. Oh, it is Root Chakra. Okay, so May must have ended the Root Chakra. June is going to be self-love. That's what I read. Um, the box contains three crystals or minerals that are vibrationally aligned to help you ground yourself into the earth and anchor your energy into the world of manifestation. It supports us in growing and feeling safe while exploring all aspects of life. Also in your box is an amazing root chakra grounding mud mask, a super cute hand-painted Buddha pen, a download link to chants for meditation, 14 tracks for deep meditation, um, and then it says find, you know, find us on Instagram and Facebook for tips on meditating and the art is by, done by their art director, Eli Valoroso, and you can follow his Instagram. Um, so let's show you what we got. I think this is maybe the download. Yeah. So it has a download link on this little card for, um, the 14 meditation. Uh, I could probably use those right now, honestly. Anything to help me chill? Um, Okay. This is the little hand-painted Buddha pen, made in China, but it's cute. Look at it. It's a little meditating Buddha man. And it's like carved out of it. I don't know if that's wood. It kind of looks like it's carved out of wood. So, so that's, um, and I, that, I know some of this stuff came in both boxes, but then the bigger box has a couple more things. Um, then they, this box, this box really has three things in it. Um, this is the Root Chakra Grounding Mud Mask. It's Benetite Clay, Turmeric, which is really good for your skin, Burdock Root, Hawthorn Berry, uh, Lang Lang Essential Oil, Organic. You mix with one to two teaspoons of water, apply to face and leave on for 10 to 15 minutes, wash off with a hot washcloth. So this is like a mud mask and you follow it up with um, 
moisturizer. It also says you can also replace one teaspoon of water with honey or aloe vera if you want it, probably for more moisturizing properties. So, but this is the mud mask. Don't mind my nails. Um, a, I broke one way, way down. I'm going today to get them fixed. I've just, I, I told you guys I'd been depressed about some stuff and um, I am never like not getting my nails done unless there's like something going on where I can't get there. Um, <clears throat> I have just struggled at work to be productive. I have not felt like doing my videos. I've been crying a lot and um, just some some things going on and it's, it's, it's settling now, but I feel like I'm sort of in limbo and I'm just not happy at this point. So um, at some point I, I'll share with you guys what's going on, but um, Anyway, that's why my nails are not done. Um, but today I put makeup on, and today I explored with makeup and did something new, and um, I think it came out kind of cute. All right, so then the other thing, and this I do really like about Awakening in a Box, they come with a little baggie of stones and crystals or minerals, and each one of them does have a info card, which explains all the um, properties of the crystal. So since I know these crystals are in the bigger box too, I'll read the cards to give you the more info on what each of these crystals mean. Um, and I'll show you the crystal, but I won't do it obviously twice. That'll cover both. The first stone is sunstone. And I'm going to take it out because it's hard. It definitely is hard to see. And I don't know why I'm blurry. Sorry about that. Okay, so it comes with a card like this. It tells you about... I don't know why. I can't seem to get anything to focus. But anyway, it tells you about the, um, the sunstone crystal. And let me hold the crystal up. It's really pretty. It kind of has like a skin tone or a peachy with like little darker orange colors like a little sunset it's a pretty stone and they come with an affirmation on it this one says um, the universe will always provide for me which I do believe in and it says sunstone is known for its powerful connections to the light and power of the sun sunstone brings light to all situations carrying a piece around with you can help your personal power to shine known as a stone of good luck sunstone has bright joyful energy that increases vitality and lightens dark moods i think i'll carry this one with me today then um all right sunstone helps empower those who feel persecuted or abandoned by others by instilling confidence, optimism, encouraging motivation, and positive action. Sunstone is also useful in removing energy draining ties to your or your hooks into your energy by other people and aligns with the root chakra, chakra, sacral, and solar plexus chakras, zodiac signs, Leo and Libra. So um, I didn't know that. So like I know my birthstone is Sagittarius and turquoise is my stone, but um, recently, uh, there's some stones that are like Sagittarius stones. Like you have your, besides your birth month stone, there's some crystals that are specific to your astrology. And in fact, I don't know if they're over here. I had gotten them. They're not. I'll show you that in another video because um, it's kind of neat. All right. Um, the next one is Desert Sunset Jasper. And this looks like a darker stone. Here's what it comes like. It, sometimes I leave them in here because I'm learning about the crystals. So sometimes I'll just leave them in the little packages until I know that I'll always know what that stone is. Um, sometimes it, it, this is really a, like a dark brown stone, almost like a burgundy, but it's, it's more brown. So desert jasper. Sunset Jasper, excuse me. Okay, so this says, um, your affirmation for this is, I am anchored and connected to Mother Earth. When you want to perform higher spiritual work, but stay connected to Earth energy, readers, mediums, and healers, this is the stone to use. Desert Sunset Jasper is often recommended for bringing people down to Earth and promoting mental processes, especially after meditation or rituals involving the more ethereal stones, such as Moldavite or uh, Fenkeet. Carrying this stone will help your relationships with others throughout the day, especially in work situations. Used in healing, Jasper unifies all the aspects of your life and is known to remind people to help each other. 
aligns with the root chakra zodiac signs Leo and Scorpio. Um, so that is the desert sunset jasper, and then we have one more stone, and I'll show you the bigger, the bigger subscription. Okay, this next one is called is fancy jasper, and you're going to see my hair curl up as it gets dry. It just is going to curl. Um, so this looks just like a chunk of rock to me. Like if I saw this out, I would not know what this was. I would just pass by it. Um, but here it is. It just looks like a rock. But it is Jasper. Fancy Jasper. All right. This, um, this affirmation is life loves me and I love being here. Fancy Jasper is particularly grounding, especially with the energies of the mind. Known also as the Stone of Tranquility, it can help those who are having trouble focusing and can bring stability to overactive emotions, clearing the way for rational ideas to come through. Many use Fancy Jasper for its property of culminating scattered thoughts into a cohesive idea. It can also encourage you to focus on now instead of worrying about the future or feeling guilt about the past. Meditating with it can help you let go of non-productive thinking and provides fuel on the road to enlightenment, and it aligns with the root chakra and solar plexus chakras and zodiac signs, Aries and Scorpio. All right, so that is the $16 awakening in a box. And I'm just going to put these in here a little bit so you can see. And... This is what you get for well, the pens in here, but he's hiding um, for $16. You have your mud mask back here, your three stones and description cards, your Uda pen, and then you have a card in here that takes you to the, the download link for um, puppies vid visiting. <laughs> All right. Um, the, this is the card for the download link for meditation and you also have your card your artwork and what's inside this box so that is your $16 box so if you want to upgrade to the um, $39 box and some of it's the same so I'm just gonna go through that very quickly um, this does say what the extra stuff is on it when you get the bigger box so we got the um, the same thing here the root chakra mud mask Okay, the three different stones, it looks like I got, actually, so I'm going to show you these stones because this is interesting and I saw this in the last one too. The stones are the same stones, but they're different cuts and stones are all unique and different. So um, each stone, I don't know where I put my, I know they're in here, but I must have taken out my, oh, they're there in there. All right, so, this, the, so the fancy Jasper looks pretty much the same, pretty much. And then the sunstone, this is actually a bigger stone. So I, and I'm wondering if you get a little bit bigger stones because you're paying more money. Um, it's not much bigger, but it is certainly bigger than the sunstone in the other box. Okay. And then my desert sunset Jasper is a, the other one was like so dark colored and this one's very light colored. And again, it's just because it's a different cut of the same stone. So isn't that interesting? Those two look very different. I got one in my last box, Mukite, and they, they look really different too. So they were kind of cool. I was grateful I got the bigger box because I like the ones in the bigger box better. So you get your stones. <clears throat> And this is new. So you get root chakra grounding tea. It's hibiscus flowers, raspberry leaf, roasted dandelion root, valerian root, cinnamon, and organic. You mix it with water, stir, strain, enjoy, and add honey. So there is the loose tea, which I do enjoy loose tea. So I'll have to try it and let you guys know what that's going to be. Then, oops, sorry, drop in stuff okay so then it does come with so it did come with all your little cards too for your your stones oops goodness being klutzy today sunstone okay there's my cards 
Then this, grounded. Tie the bracelet to your wrist. There's magic inside this little bee. If it should ever fall off, well, you get the gist. Your magical wish has been set free. So this is your, this is the little bumblebee um, bracelet. I guess you just put it on your wrist and make a wish. And then when it's, when it falls off your wrist, then you're supposed to have your wish come true. That's kind of cute. It's a cute idea. So. Now, they don't know. I'm deathly afraid of bumblebees. But. There we go. It's a little bumblebee bracelet. And I don't know if anything's in here or not. So we'll just, we'll see. Yeah, something's in here. The, the little package with the bumblebee on it. Oh Lord, what is this? Something that says save the bees. Oh my God, I think this might be bee larva. Oh my God. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's little larva in here. I think this is bumblebee larva. I know we need bees. I know we need them. But they scare the living shit out of me. <laughs> All right, so then there's a whole page with bees on it. Oh my God. Oh, okay, so this is um, information on what accounts for co colony bee collapses. Um, how to help the bees before it's too late. Um, Bees need fresh, clean water. Fill a shallow dish with water, adding pebbles or twigs for the bees to perch on while drinking. Maintain the dish with water so the bees know they can return regularly. Um, actually, my neighbor has a bee colony in front of his house. He makes, he has bees out there and he has his own honey, um, but they stay over there. So that's fine. Um, so anyway, I know it's dangerous for us to lose our bees. I know we really, we rely on them to pollinate and for our food and every, and flowers and vegetables and everything. So, um, I don't see what this actually is yet. So I'll, I got to read through, read through this. And then there's a little be magical, the, the little card where the bee bracelets came from. All right. So that's some info on being good to our bees. There's more in here. Um, black, rainbow carbide and it helps so this is a crystal that was not in the other box oh look at this guys just want you to see how beautiful that is so and that is one reason i do like the bigger boxes because you do get a larger specimen crystal God, that's pretty it looks so delicate i'm trying to get the focus but isn't that pretty? That's really pretty. Beautiful. All right, so let's read about this guy. Um, your affirmation is, I am a divine being of light and I am safe, protected, and secure. Rainbow carbide, also known as Carborundum is known to be a master healer and a type of semiconductor that shines light in all areas. It energetically purifies the mind, body, and spirit while encouraging intuition and discernment. Carborun, whatever, enhances communication, transmits thought, conducts electrical impulses, and can magnify the energy transfer from healer or stones to the subject of healing. It provides for a connection of communication to universal consciousness, mentally, mental agility and focus, and it may help to eliminate feelings of depression and anger and can relieve stress. So what I'm thinking is that I need to take all, all my little crystals and put them in a baggie and just carry them around today and see if they help me out because that is a really cool one though, isn't it? That is the neatest thing. It's so pretty. Look at that sparkle. Gosh. Gorgeous. So beautiful. So beautiful. And I like that it came in its own little box. Okay. 
And I actually think that I personally do like the bigger box. Um, I think I'm going to start getting that. Um, so then we do have the same thing, the chance for meditation in here. This is neat. This is a soapstone animal. I thought he was soapstone. Um, and I think he's a little armadillo. Can you see him? Look at him. I got a horse in one of them too. A, a, a really pretty soapstone ho horse I'll have to show you. He's cute. Okay, so it says, um, your affirmation is, I am always supported and shown the next steps to take. Um, steatite mineral, also known as soapstone, the soft, beautiful colors include shades of green, white, gray, and brown. Soapstone is a combination of mineral deposits of talc, chlorite, dolomite, and magnetite. It is also known to allow for both movement and widening, widening of horizons. It assists in going with the flow and changing with the tides. Soapstone emits a calming energy, stimulating one to release old routines for new loving environments. Included in this box is either an armadillo, that's what it is, buffalo or bear. These animals are closely associated with the root chakra energy, aligns with their root, heart, and crown chakras and zodiac signs Sagittarius, which is what I am. Um, my little guy that I got the last time is right here, so I'm going to show him to you. So I got a horse. The last time, um, this little soapstone horse, look at him, isn't he cute? He's actually sitting on my coffee table. So he actually has the brown, the tan, and the green. Um, he's got all the colors in him versus this little armadillo. <laughs> I think these are so cute. Who's just really kind of got the, the brown, a little black. Okay, there's those. And then there's still more in here, guys. Okay, I got another Buddha pen. I think it's the same kind. No, actually my other Buddha was sitting on something. Okay, so this is the Buddha from the first box. This is the Buddha pen from the second box. So they are different. So this is the, the one I just got. And then I got a journal. And the journal says, I am grounded. And this is their symbol that they have on all other boxes and that's stamped on it when you receive your box. Um, and it does have a little matching pen that comes. And so you can just write your, your thoughts out on the journal. It's made from recycled paper um, that tells you on the back. Um, so that's really cute. So that is the two different boxes. So as you can see, there is quite a difference between the smaller box and the larger box and um, I'll take pictures of both and put them up following the video here too so uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask I purchased them on Crate Joy um, and but they do have their own website and sometimes if you do a search you can find uh, like a coupon code to get your first box at a discount so I would definitely look on that sometimes Crate Joy has a coupon sometimes if you go to the website itself they will have it but I'll try to put links for both for you um, all right, well, that's it. I got to go get my nails done and I got to go do something with this mop on my head. And um, I'll see you guys soon because I got to do my trend send today, too. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.